all right so now what we will gonna do we will gonna look at how we can utilize box suit to scan the particular application which has api technology in it okay okay so now what we will gonna do we will gonna utilize box suit in order to scan the uh, api based application so for that what we have to do we have to click on the new scan button and we will not gonna select the web app scan option instead we will select the api scan option okay so just by clicking on that we will be shown a new scan wizard so over here we get to see the two options one is to upload from url and second one is to upload a file what what exactly is this all about so in order to scan an application which has api in it we will need to upload the open api definition from the url or from the file so what exactly is this open api let's first understand that so an open api purpose is that it defines the structure and behavior of the application in a standardized machine readable format the primary goal of the open api definition is to describe the api endpoints request and response formats authentication mechanism and other aspects so that developer can generate document spks and validate the request okay and this type of definition was not was but currently has been utilized by some famous tools such as swagger ui swagger code gen and other api documentation and client generation tools okay so suppose our vulnerable application is ci api provided by owasp itself so now over here what we have to do we have to either enter the url which has the open api endpoint open api is a uh, json endpoint over here or else we can simply upload the definitions json file so for us the feasibility will be to upload the file because we already have that type of uh, json file over here now from where we will be able to get this json file this will be provided to us directly from this github repository okay and yeah one more thing suppose we are in the live environment where we were told to utilize the burp source scanning capability to scan the application which has which is utilizing the api technology at that point of time what we can do we can simply ask the developers team or development team or our senior management to kindly provide us with the open api specification or definition so that we can pass the same file in the bug fix and scan the endpoints okay so over here if we click on this open API, we will see this json file okay so what exactly is this json file all about so at first we will see the open api's version then we will see the title then external documentation information then from here server url is mentioned over here and this server application basically has couple of different endpoints so the endpoint definition has been defined under path section correct and under path we get to see on line number 15 that this is the endpoint sign up endpoint and this sign up endpoint requires post http method which is defined over here correct and if we scroll down a bit we can see that the content type has been defined over here in this way then in the api's post body there are several objects defined over here those objects are email objects name objects number objects and password objects that means in order to create an account on this vulnerable application we will need this four thing okay but below this we also get to see the properties of these objects for example suppose we need to provide the email address so for that the so for this the application already has defined the sample email address in the 
property section okay and below this we will see the http responses so suppose uh, all of our details are correct so if we get the http success message as in the http 200 status code then this should be the thing or this should be the sentence which should be visible in the http response if our status code is 403 this should be the description this should be the response and for 500 status code there should be this kind of responses okay the same has been defined for login and the same has been defined for a couple of different what you say different endpoints okay so this type of information is currently present in open api specifications which is in the json format all right now what we have to do we have to simply drag and drop the same file over here okay then we have to click on continue then we have to head back to the authentication section and over here we can see that the application is asking us to provide the credential once click on that we get to see that we have to provide the token so before proceeding with all of this what we have to do we have to make sure that we have already logged in into the application and we have captured or copied the valid jwt token so that we can copy paste it over here okay so for me i indeed have this valid jwt token so i'm gonna copy it from here i will head back to dashboard and over here i will paste it and click on save then i have to click on continue for the moment i'm not gonna define any new scan configuration i will go to resource tool and from here we can select the number of confident request which we are intended or which we are allowed or which we want to send to the application okay suppose we are uh, selecting the 500 concurrent request and there is a possibility that the scan will gonna take a little less time if we are selecting 10 concurrent request then there is a possibility that the scan will gonna take a little bit more time okay again it depends upon the type of hardware machine or hardware laptop or not hardware laptop it depends upon the type of system which we are using because again once the web suit starts the scanning process our laptop will gonna generate a lot of heat okay so select accordingly or either you can create new resource pool we can also delete the uh, request or we can also perform the automatic throttling over here okay then after doing all these things all we have to do is we have to simply click on the scan button and over here you can, we can see that our scanning activity has been started so for the moment i'm gonna delete it why i am deleting it because i had already earlier on performed the scan as you can see over here so suppose you guys did the scanning activity and the scanning has been completed so what will be the result so let's understand the result for now once the scanning has been completed in the dashboard itself we will be provided with the different sort of vulnerabilities which the application was able to identify so over here the buffer was able to identify external service interaction vulnerabilities then out of band sql injection server side javascript code injection sql injection again then couple of different issues or vulnerabilities such as software as a name revealed unencrypted communication content type incorrectly stated vulnerable javascript dependencies cross origin resource sharing and whatnot okay and heading to the audit item section so over here website will gonna display us all of the endpoints which are defined in our open api specification so there were total 42 endpoints defined in that file and over here we can see that the buff suit has made total 986 986 request to this particular sign up endpoint out of which buff suit was only able to identify seven issues same for this validate coupon buff suit has sent a total 223 http request out of which Buffsuit was able to identify two issues and one high critical vulnerability. Okay. Then we have this issue sections over here. So this will gonna give me more clarity about the vulnerability, such as suppose I click on SQL injection. 
so i will be shown the information like what exactly is this one sql injection vulnerability all about and the reference of this vulnerabilities and how we can fix sql injection and here will be the http request with which bug suit has sent to the application in order to identify and cross validate whether it is actually the sql injection vulnerability or not okay so as you can see bug suit over here utilizes a single code and accordingly we got the 500 internal server error message but when bug suit entered double inverted comma i mean twice the inverted comma then we get to see the 400 bad request message and this was sorry not 400 bad request message 400 bad request http status code followed by the coupon not found message so this is how buffer was able to identify that there is a sql injection vulnerability correct so for this server side javascript code injection what buffer did buffer has utilized the uh, var operator so this basically is the uh, no sql injection i would say because this var operator uh, var operator falls under no sql injection attack okay but the property of this var operator is a javascript okay so this is how buffet was able to identify this vulnerability and in the event log we can clearly see that i had initiated this scan on around 428 in the afternoon and it eventually took me more than half an hour to complete this scan okay then we can see on the logger section that the bug suit has made total 23000 more than 23000 http request to the application in order to complete this scan okay so these all are the information which we will gonna get and this is how we can perform the api scan using bug suite i hope it is pretty much clear to everyone